Okay, I had to take a little break because I had to charge the camera battery. Yeah, let's continue. We do still have here my nail polishes and my perfumes. This is my entire nail polish collection. As you can see, I don't have too many. I actually would like to pan my entire nail polish collection and get my nails done professionally, but it's still going to take probably three, even four years before that. I don't have that many nail polishes, however, I do have some really big bottles left that just take forever. I am doing a project polish and I am pretty low with a couple of my nail polishes. I think there is going to be a project polish update somewhere in May, but meanwhile I'm going to keep this entire thing. Then here are my perfumes. First of all, I do have here business card and some other cardboard from Visionary Fragrances. I recently ordered some samples from them, so I don't need those, they are going away. Also back here I do have some of these Kayali sample cards. I have taken the samples out of these. I do have also from Kayali their Discovery layering set that came with eight samples. I have used up already two. And I don't really like this thing, I just think it falls pretty easily. So I do have here samples. So I will put to this class chart the remaining Kayali samples from here. I also do have here tea samples from Kayali. However, there's a couple of samples in here that I do want to declutter. Okay, here, Mancera Instant Crush. So I was looking for some new perfumes to try because perfumes have been the kind of category in my beauty routine where I really felt there's products lacking. I didn't have perfumes to wear in all seasons and for all moods and all of that. And I wouldn't mind growing my perfume collection a little bit. However, I would like to get samples first, unless I'm absolutely sure by the notes that the perfume is something that I would enjoy. So on social media, I came across this brand Mancera and also Montal. They are like sister brands or sister houses. This is a really hyped scent and I do think it smells good, however for me this leans a little bit too masculine and it stayed smelling masculine on myself. So I'm going to give this one to my husband so he can use this one up. And there's another one that I just don't like here. Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. This is a really hyped perfume and Tom Ford is not a brand that we do have well in stores here in Finland. So I wanted to get a sample of this perfume to test it out and smell it because vanilla is actually my favorite note in perfume. However, this one smells hideous to me. I just cannot tolerate it. And this one made me realize that I don't like tobacco note. And I think in this perfume, the tobacco is so overpowering. I cannot get any of the vanilla under it. I tried it one day and it performs really well. I could smell it the entire day, but I actually got a little bit of nauseous. The tobacco for me, it's kind of sweet in a wrong way and it's a little bit too masculine and just really overpowering. I think this is kind of a unisex scent, but I don't think my husband would like to smell like this and he didn't like it anyway, so I will see if someone else wants it. Also, that perfume made me realize why I am not the biggest fan of the Kayali Invite Only Amber. The opening of this one for me is really harsh. It's the tobacco. But anyways, all of my other samples I'm going to keep except the Instant Crush and the tobacco Vanille. So I'm going to put these here. And I will get rid of all of this cardboard. I will say though, I feel I do have now a little bit too much samples. So before I use up like at least half of these samples, I will not get new ones. Then I do have here still my full size perfumes. I do have the vanilla from the body shop. And I do have from Eden Perfumes Terra Dupe for the Marc Jacobs Daisy. And then recently I got from Kayali their Yum Pistachio Gelato and their Oudgasm Vanilla Oud. So yeah, these are the full size perfumes I have. Really nice, I do enjoy all of these, but I feel what is lacking now from my collection is those kind of like stronger fall, winter type of perfumes. Then I do have here this candle. I don't do a lot of candles. I like the aesthetic, however, I'm really worried about my house burning down. I don't want to store this one anymore on this shelf. I want it to be only perfumes from now on. So I will need to find a new place for that. I have burned some of it, so I cannot really, you know, give it away or anything. So eventually I will burn it, but for now I'm just going to put it somewhere else. 
Okay, so I changed the angle because the top part of my vanity is now all done. So we will move to the drawer and you can see now better. Oh, honestly, I don't know where to start. I do have here a lot of things that when I change my vanity, I don't want to store on the vanity drawer. We do have my makeup brushes. Honestly, I don't feel like I would like to go through this right now. So currently this is where I am storing my makeup brushes. This one is from H&M. It is a makeup bag with two sides to it. So there is this one side where there's not any pockets and this is where I store my face brushes. These are the ones that I'm mainly using at the moment. Then I do have there a powder puff that I rarely use. Then one of the sides has pockets and I do store my eye brushes there. And I do really like the idea of this one for makeup brushes. However, I always need to kind of like turn this around and then open this and close it and open the another side and it's just too much effort for me. So I actually would rather have my makeup brushes in one bag. But right now, honestly, I don't think that I could fit the makeup brushes to the makeup bag where I put the makeup. So this one, it is pretty full already. So I don't know what to do. But what I know is that I don't want to keep them anymore here. I'm considering maybe taking a mug for them. But anyways, my makeup brushes need to be washed, so I'm going to do that later today. I'm also going to wash this one and I'm going to declutter this because this is just impractical for me. Although I like the idea. But then over here I do have some backup brushes. So I don't want to have all of my brushes at the same time on my hand because then there are so many brushes, I get confused by what I use and the more brushes I have, the less likely I am going to wash them on time. So I do store here some kind of extra brushes. Also there are some like magnets. If I depot eyeshadows, there are these nail polish swatching sticks. You know what, I don't now want to really go through this. Then in here I do have my notebook for panning. So this is where I track my progress and also uses. By the way, I didn't mark my uses today, so let me do that quickly. This is for sure something that I do want to store on my vanity table in future too. I do have here some paper. Let me check it out. There's probably some that can be thrown away. Okay, I do have here a paper from dentist. There is like a number and also an appointment that went already. I do have here from our fashion garden my style analysis. So they analyzed my Kipi ID and my Kitchener Essences. I like to start this on my vanity drawer because it goes nicely under my project panning notebook. So it doesn't take that much space here. And I also do have from the Color Analysis Studio, this warm autumn guide. This is really nice. So I'm going to keep this. But then I also do have from Color Analysis Studio, this color chart of warm autumn colors and also from warm spring colors because it said that you can borrow some colors from your sister season which for me as warm autumn would be warm spring but I don't like spring colors on myself and I don't really use these kind of color charts that much if I want to check out my colors I am going to do it online anyway. So these are something I'm going to put away. There is an old receipt that I do not need. And then there is some old project panning notes, which I don't need. Okay, I do have here a fan. This is something that I bought from a festival. This is something that I sometimes use to make setting spray dry quicker. I do have here Hey, Austin. I don't know what it is in English. Yeah, obviously the place for this is not in my vanity drawer and I don't know what it does there. Then I do have here some of these baskets. Over here I do have some Q-tips. I do have your nail polish remover, a marker for project panning, mainly for nail polishes. I do have here some alcohol to repress, some cotton pads. Okay, so these are these lash brushes. 
I got lash extensions last fall and I didn't keep them for a long, they are just not for me. But I think this could be pretty good in future for a brows for example, so these I do want to keep. Then there is this that I have been using, maybe I will wash this one and store these away. And then over here I do have also, this is just disgusting, this needs to be washed also. This is a spatula from Real Techniques that I use for foundation when I'm getting really low and it has been a while that I have been low on a foundation and clearly I have not washed this after using this the last time. This is all something that I am going to keep. I will need to clean all of these baskets outside of camera because otherwise we would be here forever if I cleaned it right now. Then I do have here my kind of like backup basket. I do have here like some backup foundation, false lashes, mascara. Well, the foundation is like a foundation in my summer shade. I think from here I am going to declutter this pair of false lashes. This is the Sadie Mini from House of Lashes. And I'm just not that much into lashes anymore. And these are way too dramatic and way too thick for me. I have not used them ever, so I'm not going to use this. I know these kind of lashes will be so heavy and make my eyes look really small. I do have here also some Ardell Demi Vispis backups and then I do have here a pair of brown or black brow false lashes from Technics. So those I'm going to keep, although I don't wear lashes a lot right now. Okay, so this next basket holds some really, really random stuff. I think this is something that I will need to empty it completely and see what I have here. Ew, and you know what, this is so gross and dirty that it needs to be cleaned, but I do have a clean one, or a more clean one at least, back here. This is just overwhelming, when you do have this drawer and stuff just keeps coming in. I do have here some samples, like what is this? An open British Rose body butter from the body shop. I don't know how long this has been open, but it seems to be pretty dry and anyways I really hate this smell, it's like a rose soap. Then uh, I do have here some samples that I have gotten from Sephora when we were traveling back in 2022 and I still have the samples here. What is this stuff even? I do have two. Sephora collection clarifying cleanser. I'm going to take these to my bathroom and use them up. Something like this would be handy if traveling. However, I never remember to check my samples and anyways, I don't see it being an issue to travel with my actual skincare unless I do have a really large bottle of something. Then I do have here some sort of a sheet mask. This is something that I have probably gotten the beauty box advent calendar or subscription box in 2020. Well, it is unopened, so I think that I can still use it. But yeah, I have totally learned that I should not get any sort of subscription boxes or anything because after years I will still have that stuff hanging around unused. So this is also going to be taken to our bathroom. Also, I do have here some Wishful product. So Wishful is the uh, skincare brand from Huda Beauty. This is their Honey Whip Peptide Moisturizer. Sounds actually really nice. I just think this brand is maybe a little bit expensive and probably a little bit overpriced but anyways I'm going to use that but these are going to bathroom with my skincare. I do have here a couple of different hand creams. This smells like apple, it actually smells nice. This one I'm going to put to the makeup bag that I take with me to work for example because that's where I might have drier hands. And this one I'm going to store with the rest of my body care. So here we do have Dr. Popo original balm, multi-purpose soothing balm. I have seen these at normal, but this is also something that I got from the Bitbox or the Bitbox advent calendar and I only got it in 2020, so it's years old and I feel I have accumulated way too many of these kind of like balmy moisturizing things. I will try to use it, but I will try to use maybe some of those other ones first. I do have here the Holika Holika Aloe Vera Gel. You know, this looks kind of cute, but in my opinion this is a really overpriced aloe vera gel, because this is just 99% aloe vera. I will try to use up this one as an after sun 
next summer. Okay, so here we do have these kind of like hair finishing stick mascaras. These I have bought from Normal. The brand is called The Hair Project. One of them is a regular one and one gives glossy look. Since I have dealt with postpartum hair loss and now after my second pregnancy the hair is just at that point where it's going everywhere. These are actually really handy products. So I will put this with the rest of my hair care. I'm wondering if I should put one of these to my makeup bag because that's why originally I bought two. I do have here a hair band that I use when I do my makeup. Then I do have here the Body Soap Aloe Body Butter. This one is almost empty. I wish I had finished it before. This is something that I will try to finish today after I shower in the evening. I will apply this one to my whole body and hopefully be done with it because this is old and it starts to be a little bit too moisturizing for me this time of the year. Then I do have here from Schwarzkopf their got to be glued spiking wax. So it is this kind of like styling past sort of thing. I do use it to give volume to my roots and sometimes to make my hair super sleek. Okay, then we do have here a lot of hair care products which I don't want to store in the vanity drawer in future. So I do have here a styling mousse from Paul Mitchell. I actually would like to use a styling mousse more, but I have been using the gel that was on my skincare tray. So I will try to use up that first, but uh, yeah, this is what I have here. Dry shampoo, that's actually something that I use regularly. Hairspray is also something I use regularly. Then I do have here like heat protection spray. Where is the cap of that one? It's here. No, that's not right. That should have a red lid. Okay, so it is here. So yeah, that's something I use because I do straighten my hair pretty regularly. I do have here this Swarchkov leave-in repairing spray. Don't know if it's that good, but this lid goes there. As you can see, I'm pretty low, so it should be done soon. And from the same line, I do have like a serum type of product. I have not used it that much yet because I have been using this one. Then we do have here from Tresemme a sample size shampoo. I have probably gotten this for a vacation and then I never got around using this one because the hotel where we went actually offered shampoo. I do have actually a similar one like this that I'm currently trying to use at my shower. So this one also goes there. I have decided that I don't want to hold on to these travel products anymore in case if I one day travel, because honestly, if I travel and if I need a travel sized product, there is a normal in almost every single town here in Finland these days. And if there is not a normal where there is a good selection of hair care, body care, whatever you would need, there is at least a supermarket where you can get some sort of shampoo. So there is no point for me to hold on to this because honestly they just add up to the clutter, which I'm trying to get rid of here. So I'm just going to use that at home. I do have here, this is some sort of a flower balm. Honestly, I think it looks really nasty. I don't know if it's like expired or if it's just if it's supposed to go crazy. I'm wondering what is the shelf life of this one. 12 months. And I have bought this probably like a couple of years ago. You know what, I think it looks kind of gross. It smells kind of gross. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't even know why I bought it. Back here I do have some more cotton bats. So there is something that I always need on my vanity. And then here is the last little basket that I do have in here. Oh, here is the body shop trash that I forgot to throw to the trash. So there it is. I do have a trash can here. Maybe I will show you what I store like below my vanity. This is my trash can. It is actually a flower pot, but works for trash really well. Then I do have here teas. These are from Normal. So one is a new products back. So over here I just do have now the packaging for the Kayali perfumes. And then the clutter bag, by the way, here's... I'm going to show it to you quickly. In my recent lip product video I decided to declutter three lip products. So one expired lip gloss and then a lipstick and lip liner in the dark red color. That just feels nowadays too dark for me. So these are the makeup products I decided to declutter earlier this spring. Then I do have there my empties bag, which is this paper bag. Here are some beauty products that I have finished. There will be an empties video probably in a month or so. Then last thing that is below my vanity is this 
oof, overflowing basket with stuff that I now took away from this vanity drawer, but also with stuff that I took away from my wardrobe. But yeah, then there was this basket. I'm sorry, I'm just all over the place right now. A really old food cream that I got from the pit box. I will use it up this summer. I promise that I'm just the worst with that kind of things. I do have here some heel blisters. Hey, this is the cap for this watch of oil over here. So yay. Then I do have here two samples of Rituals body lotion from a hotel. These are the ones that I'm going to use after the body soap alloy body butter before moving into any new full size things. Then I do have here two deodorants. So I use these Nivea black and white products because they work for me so well. Usually I use this roll on, this traditional one. It's really good for me. However, it takes a while to try. So sometimes I may have a top. It would absorb the moisture from this one. Then I don't necessarily have time to wait before the deodorant is absorbed fully. So in those cases I'm going to use the stick but I do think the stick is more dry so I don't like to use it often. Only if it is a top that this one is better with. But yeah, these are all something that I'm going to use. Maybe for the heel blisters I will need to find a better place. Maybe I will open this and take the cardboard out and put these to my makeup bag because probably I would be on a go when I noticed that I need them. Okay, so that was my vanity clean out. This video took way longer to film what I thought it would. So thank you for watching if you came this far. These are the products I will still quickly show that I decided to declutter. Two of the makeup bags. Then this nasty balm, some expired skincare, the Huda Beauty palette, the highlighter palette, the unused false lashes, and then there are the perfume samples, the eyeshadow from KVD that I don't really like the color, and then there's the lip gloss I decided to declutter earlier, as well as the lip liner and lipstick. And then also the brow gel and then the mascara. Well, it's not that much declutters. I thought there might be more. Of course, I try to be more mindful with what I get into my collection and not accumulate so much things that I wouldn't be able to go through it. But yeah, that is everything for today. This vanity will be clean. There will probably be a wardrobe declutter video before the next part to this series, but the next beauty video of mine will be organizing my new vanity. Really excited about that. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you on my next one. Bye bye.